So instead of showing you a fancy kind of infomercial video, I'm actually going to show you two or three minutes of how link building actually looks like when you're doing it. Uh, so link building is a funny term. You're not actually building anything. Uh, you know, when you get a link from somebody, it's a trust signal. Um, they're placing a link on their website to your website, which says, I trust this piece of content or this page or this website or this brand. Uh, so that's that's ultimately what link building boils down to. We're sending emails to target people that we think might want to add our link on their website for whatever reason. Uh, and there's a lot of strategies that follow on from that. So I'm just going to show you actually how we do it uh, at scale. So this is uh, Pitchbox. This is a link building tool we use to, to send outreach campaigns at scale. So this is a, a sample project we've got set up for Drifted.com, which is a highly popular uh, motoring blog. So they earn a lot of revenue from ads, um, affiliate revenues, that kind of thing. So this is an example article where we did we launched a big outreach campaign. We got a ton of backlinks to it. So first and foremost, whenever we're setting up a new uh, campaign for outreach, we, we want to set up a prospect list. We want to find people that we can actually email, show something, and, and develop a relationship to then have them link back to us. So this is something we do very well at scale. We, we find like, there's a there's a number of ways which I won't get into how we develop a prospect list, but you know you can use Ahrefs, Content Explorer. There's there's tons of tools out there to find um, highly targeted articles around your keywords. You can use Google Search. We have a kind of painstaking process that we've kind of filtered down now, and um, that's what we use to find the best targets that we possibly can. And we have like quality metrics in place as well to make sure that anyone we're communicating with is actually going to be worthwhile to to win a link from. So once that kind of initial process is done, we come to Pitchbox, we upload all of our data, we find the relevant email addresses for people, their names, and then we craft an outreach template. So that's basically your, your first cold email, which says, um, hi there, I'm such and such. This is what I want to show you. Maybe I've got a piece of content that you'd be interested in. Will you give me a link? Now, obviously, that's straightforward, and it's very hard to convince people to give you a link just through doing that. So we use... Um, you know, good copywriting in our templates. We do follow-ups. We we make sure that we feel authentic to cut through, like, you know, the tens of other emails that they get every single day with the same thing. Um, so I'm just going to show you, like, the internal workings of w when we actually launch a, an email and, and when we get a response, how does it look like? So we actually sent quite a few uh, emails to this guy. We were showing him. He was writing about um, a famous drift car driver, uh, we noticed that he was referencing a Wikipedia article about the drift car driver, which didn't have very much information in it. So we just then suggested that instead he might be better suited to link to our in-depth guide. So he responded. He said, I've, I've added uh, a reference. If you could share on your own social channels, that'd be great. That's just a classic case of doing outreach and winning a link. Obviously, that's a really straightforward example. Um, but that's, that's what link building is ultimately. And this is what we're doing at scale. So you can see here on Pitchbox, we have like a number of different campaigns set up for this one project. So each of these campaigns um, is actually for, for a separate article. So in each campaign, we're promoting a single piece of content on the website and contract, contacting hundreds of people that we think might be interested in that piece of content. Uh, so our response rates are really good for cold outreach emails, you know. If you send a mailer, probably you'll be uh, you'd be happy to get like a one or two percent response rate. Never mind, never mind like a twenty percent open rate. But we're getting really high response rates because we're actually you know sending a personal email to that specific person. So that's that's literally how it looks. And the idea is when you set up these campaigns over time using different strategies like guest posting, the skyscraper approach, content outreach, um, broken link building that you end up with a lot of backlinks to the right pages on your site. And in turn, that's how you kind of supercharge your rankings. So yeah, that's it. And once you've, um, once you've kind of built up your links, this is, this is, this is like a typical uh, link reporting sheet that we'd have where, you know, we've, we've got um, all of our links listed, what page they're linking to on our target website, how that came about, who our contact was, um, so yeah, this is this is a very old uh, example sheet, but that but it hasn't changed. It hasn't changed over time. This process still works, um, and that's how you do link building at scale and make it work. Uh, so we we've got a lot of experience working in all sorts of industries, and so 
that's just a bit of insight into the inner workings of how you actually do link building campaigns at scale. So thanks for listening.